Welcome to This is Architecture. I'm Lana with AWS, and today we're talking with Shane from Eventry. Hi, Shane, welcome. Hi, Lana, thanks for having me. Um, so would you mind like telling me a little bit about Eventry? Uh, sure, so we are a cloud-based solution. We provide end-to-end -end event management um, functionality for our customers, and that includes everything from pre-event marketing through registration and on-site tools like check-in and badging, and then post-event surveys and data analytics. Great, even my own events moved online over the last in a year and a half yep. was the pandemic. So how are you using Chime and IVS and other AWS services to respond to these changes? Yes, yeah, so this, this is uh, sort of the infrastructure for our virtual events platform, which is our newest product. It was just released in September of uh, 2020. Um, and uh, we're leveraging Chime uh, and the AWS infrastructure for a couple things. Number one is obviously to, to do the meetings, the audio and video for the, the, the meetings in real time. And then the other one is to record uh, the, the meetings and videos so that they can uh, be played back later video on demand. Great, so let's get started. Um, as a user accessing the portal, what happens next? Let's say it's a video live event. Sure, so what you're not seeing here, if you can imagine off to the left, is uh, the front end of the application. Um, it's basically your standard React single page application. But what it does is it um, uh, talks through API Gateway to uh, a Lambda that uh, handles all of the messaging and processing from the front end. And uh, you know, obviously one of the paths that it takes is it uh, will talk to ch the Chime SDK uh, to create a meeting. Um, as well as to as attendees join, it'll also use a Chime SDK to, to um, add attendees to the meeting. Um, and then the Chime SDK, the, the great thing about it is, you know, it handles all of the, the, the real-time video, the web RTC for us. It, mm -hmm. You know, we used to have an infrastructure prior to this where we were doing a lot of it ourselves. Um, and, you know, we had to run lots of different resources and, and compute instances, and now Chime takes care of all of that for us. Uh, it handles all of our media and, and um, turn services and everything like that. And I'm seeing that you're queuing some events here. So what happens in the in this part of the architecture? Yep, so this is the one of the, the great things about Chime um, and saved us a, a lot of time is it's actually a trigger for SQS. So every time there's an important event that happens in Chime, somebody joins, leaves, turns on their microphone, turns off, starts recording, starts sharing content. Uh, we get a we get a message through SQS, and then uh, we end up storing that through another Lambda function into S3, uh, an S3 bucket where uh, after the event we can do lots of analytics on what happened, so we know how long people stayed, uh, what they did, if they shared, if they chatted, if they participated in a poll, and so forth. Great. So we're deriving some insights from the user behavior during the event, and that's extremely important to our customers. So you know they they want to know obviously how many people attended but what the interest level was, and we can give them that by showing them how much interaction the attendees had during the event, um, as well as uh, you know how long they stayed. Uh, so um, I, I would imagine that you have quite a lot of bursts between smaller meetings and large ones. So how do you manage sessions and states and so on in this architecture? Yep, so um, we actually do that through DynamoDB. So uh, all of our meeting state is handled in DynamoDB, so it's, it's basically like a, a session store for all of the meetings that are going on. And um, you know we do uh, meeting sizes anywhere from you know 50 people all the way up to tens of thousands of people. Um, as I mentioned, this is a, a fairly new product we launched in September. Um, since then, we've uh, done about 30,000 meetings and uh, logged about 100,000 um, hours uh, of, of real-time video and, and audio. Great, so this is how we're handling the meetings. What about streaming of video to all of the other viewers? Yes, yeah, so um, all of the, the, the viewers that are attending the, the meeting in real time, they'll see the video process through Chime, right? So um, all the web RTC and all the audio mixing and everything happens in the Chime infrastructure and we're able to push that out to the attendees so they can see it in their browser. Um, but we also have an, another uh, interesting path here where we do recording of the, the meeting and use it later for video on demand playback. Um, and uh, the nice thing about that is we're able to leverage uh, some other parts of um, AWS outside of Chime to enable that, that workflow. So what will happen is when um, the attendee or the, I'm sorry, the host of the meeting um, decides to record it, um, it'll uh, put uh, a message into SQS. Um, that, of course, triggers a Lambda automatically for us. And uh, here's, I think, a, a pretty interesting piece. The Lambda will then um, spawn uh, through Fargate an ECS container. 
Mm -hmm. um, and inside that ECS container, we actually run uh, some command line applications. So we run FFmpeg to do a lot of encoding um, of, the, of the video stream itself. And inside the container, we also spawn a virtual browser. And that browser s joins the meeting as a virtual attendee, sort of like a bot, if you will. And that's how we're able to render the entire meeting for the, for the video recording. And then, of course, once the, the meeting is over, uh, it'll store that video file uh, in S3. Great. And I'm seeing another uh, mention of DynamoDB here. So is this um, metadata store, or how are we using it here? Yeah, so DynamoDB, I uh, actually skipped a step. DynamoDB um, is actually where all of the, we manage all of the containers. So the container state, what containers are running, when they need to run, when they need to spawn, and, and when they need to end. Awesome. Shane, thank you so much for coming down today and telling us how you moved to virtual event infrastructure. And thank you for watching. This is Marketecture.